hello hello everybody good day uh, good afternoon uh, good evening uh, wherever you are uh, today I just wanted to finish the science talk that uh, I did a couple days ago uh, and I have like four or five uh, uh, talks uh, uh, on that uh, presentation so uh, let me just continue there are some nice topics and I just wanted to finish uh, b because uh, just uh, l let me tell you this uh, the, the, these are the times uh, uh, these are the times uh, uh, that uh, we need to reflect uh, uh, and, and and think uh, because just uh, uh, there are too many things going on and and, and uh, w when I was at a, uh, a ceremony, uh, you know, uh, at a burial uh, uh, in in Milwaukee, I mean that the the, the, the the imam from the mosque, you know, we were uh, at the graveyard. I mean, uh, it was a burial ceremony. Uh, uh, so, so I, I mean, I remember him saying, "Now it's the, now it's time to reflect and to think," you know, it's, uh, because he 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 died, uh, brother Numan, he died uh, at a fairly uh, young age because of a heart crisis, and he was he was dear to uh, many Turks in the area, uh, uh, and, and and I was at the, his funeral, uh, and, and uh, it was said. Uh, but, but I remember him, you know, uh, brother uh, Zulfikar. I mean, he was he was from, I believe he he, he was from Pakistan. He was the uh, imam. He was the uh, head preacher of the of the mosque and, and 13th and, and uh, on the 13th Street. So that that was the thing uh, I remember uh, because these are hard times, you know, uh, just for for everybody. Uh, and and the, and it's winter time. It's cold, and 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 it's, and and we need to reflect and think at these times, and and, and just uh, and do some reading, do some thinking, and and and, 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 and so so kind of incubate some good things out of this crisis. Uh, you know, we are in a, we are in the middle of a storm. You know. Uh, uh, whatever you call it but I, I think we are going th through stormy seas I mean uh, so uh, so with that said uh, you know uh, just, uh, uh, let's let's go back to the talk and and, and let's continue uh, you know with the, with the science talk uh, and and, and uh, see if we can uh, reach a better level of uh, level of uh, understanding uh, so this was another talk uh, from the colloquium uh, class uh, seminars uh, so let me start with that one uh, so uh, I guess uh, and uh, uh, let me just close some windows here uh, and if you are watching it you, you can share it on on, on internet and, and please remember to uh, subscribe uh, it, it helps uh, even with the broadcasting program I, I am using uh, you know that they are recording and then and, and just uh, so, so, so if anybody is watching it helps with, uh, with the channel and everything so uh, let me just start the ways uh, that cells uh, differ from uh, beakers Uh, I think let me just double before I start let me just double check uh, the program and everything I guess everything is there's a volume right there's volume yes there's, there's volume yes just so before I wanted to okay let's uh, start uh, uh, ways that cells differ from uh, beakers. Uh, this was the title of the talk. Uh, David Macmillan, uh, speaker, introduced cells, genome sequencing projects, and regulatory networks in cells. 
This topic uh, was about prediction of cellular behavior and understanding dynamics of the cell as well as evolution of uh, cellular state. Uh, so, so th th this was, I guess, uh, it was a systemic approach to the to the to the cellular uh, uh, system, uh, the, the cellular structure. You know, uh, uh, now I kind of remember uh, the, 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 the the talk because somebody was asking about uh, like uh, uh, minimal genome project uh, and and artificial genomes, and and I, I think it, it, it was that talk. Uh, because it, it, back in the, the, you know 2001 2000ish uh, the, they barely completed the human genome project in those days i mean uh, reading the genomes and reading dna was very expensive very hard to do uh, even with the you know the best funding uh, even with the best equipment it, it was it was very hard i mean and it was unnecessary i mean you you, you you, even for a simple reaction like PCR, if there is one or couple mutations, and you know your primers don't work, uh, because uh, you know the 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 sequence you have is from a lab, you know strain that that, that was sequenced, uh, you, you know in a, in another lab, and, and then and then you have your own. Uh, you know DNA from your own strain, and and you extract DNA from that one, and then uh, and and then uh, <laughs> order primers, and then try to set up a PCR reaction, and then, yeah, it's, uh, sometimes it doesn't work. Why? Because <laughs> there's a mutation. You know, uh, I it, I think it happened with with me, with me because it's important. Genome sequencing is important because I had uh, uh, problems with that too. And and I am happy that these days uh, now it's 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 gone cheaper and 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 and, and now the technology is advancing uh, so 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 that is something good uh, you know the, with the USB gadgets and everything uh, with fairly you know ch uh, cheaper prices uh, people can uh, you know set up their own labs and 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 do genome sequencing and and which is which is nice. Uh, so, so just let me continue. Uh, uh, evolution of, of cellular state. Uh, he worked uh, on models that formulated uh, cell uh, and uh, regulation of bio networks. You know, bio network. You know, so see, we know the word uh, network. <laughs> so, so, so this is another uh, uh, terminology. Uh, uh, another word, bio network. Uh, speaker focused on chemical kinetics of the cell uh, and how the cells were affected from the amount of uh, these uh, molecules. Uh, it's, it's a cosmos, you know. Does the cell even 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 for a simple cell, uh, bacteria, and, and and even the smallest bacteria, like there is like at least 500 uh, genes to run a bacteria, you know. This is called minimal genome project. Some labs, uh, you know, try to establish, you know, what does it take, you know, for a cell to survive, you know, how many genes. And I think they they uh, like deleted all the cells, and it was it came down to like 500 genes. So so so, so you have to have 500 uh, genes, you know, for a cell to function. You know, this is like the, regarding DNA protection, DNA replication, and all these RNA molecules. So let me just continue. Actual number of uh, molecules uh, that was predicted uh, to be effective was uh, analyzed. He constructed a uh, he constructed a pla uh, he constructed a plasmid including promoter with no regulation. So, so, so in those days, I mean, there, there were uh, like plain uh, empty plasmids, like like uh, at least uh, you know they, they served as a backbone. I mean, it wasn't completely empty, but it had it, it had the right uh, restriction sites and you know you know the the kind of mason cassettes or ampicillin cassettes in it. You know, that that. 
this, and every every lab would uh, would adopt a, a plasmid, you know, low copy, half copy, high copy, and and then you know insert the genes in it, and you know, and 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 then the correct promoters and etc. So constructing a plasmid uh, was important, even even uh, like in, in two thousand four, five, six, you you name it. I mean. Uh, as soon as I mean these genome sequencing technologies, you know, became uh, available, uh, the people started, you know, constructing plasmids. Uh, so that that was the thing of the of the name millennium, you know, I should say. Uh, he cons so, so I noted that you know he constructed a plasmid, including a promoter with no regulation. Uh, cellular output uh, uh, then was measured with uh, GFP protein systems, those, you know, fluorescent proteins, you know, uh, the, uh, the, so, so I guess it, the, the plasmid was pr the producing a protein, uh, you know, uh, upon receiving certain uh, signals uh, from the, you know, uh, from the cell uh, that, that are not specific. Uh, he was measuring uh, uh, like uh, a cellular uh, system, you know, so, so uh, with a basic uh, GFP protein. That's what I understand. I mean. Cellular o output was then measured via GFP protein systems, you know, green fluorescent protein, uh, GFP. Uh, they, they, they just they glow. I mean, they just uh, and, and then you just take a picture and then and then see what's happening. Sometimes they combine these proteins with other proteins and, and then see the localization and then everything inside the cell. Speaker also focused on cell division, variability of gene expression, and effects of high copy and low copy plasmids. Uh, and that is understandable because, it, you know, that, uh, you know, DNA is something, and then and, and making it low copy or high copy, high copy uh, determines uh, or changes certain things in the cell. You know, there are differences between low copy plasmids and high copy plasmids. So, result of his experiment uh, were then compared to his model predictions. He concluded cellular activities under two categories. First, intrinsic noise, which is specific, and uh, intrinsic noise, uh, which includes very other uh, activity in the cell. Uh, he, he also concluded that cells are hard to control and predict. You know, th this is, remember, this is the year 2007, 2006. Probably, probably he did the work in 2005 or 2006 because, you know, most of these projects take at least, you know, to be honest, two to three years to complete, you know. Whatever I am reading here, I mean, these talks, it, it, you know, it is it, it is easier to, you know, present them in one hour. But guess what? I mean, just uh, to be able to say these things, you have to work at least two, three years in the lab, you know, to, to, to get an idea. So, so, so it is easier uh, said than done, you know. So, uh, so, so he was measuring, I guess, baseline activity with the plasmids in the cell. You know, this is all groundwork, you know, basic work. Uh, yeah, yeah, the, 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 with these work, I mean, the molecular biology uh, advanced. He also concluded that cells are hard to control and predict. Uh, we, we all know that because, you know, remember, we are still dealing with, uh, you know, the uh, uh, the cancer and, and uh, many other diseases, inflammatory diseases, and and, and, and he's right. They say that cells are hard to control and predict. Uh, and uh, you know you have to know the whole system to predict it. You know I, I mentioned this uh, in, in my uh, earlier talk. You know it's a model. If the model is right, then you can do the right prediction. If the model is wrong, uh, your prediction doesn't work. Simple. The uh, seminar was very clear and uh, understanding. Uh, presentation did not include too many images. Uh, seminar was introduced with a fairly interesting topic. One could understand the subject matter and importance of the talk, uh, the, the basically. Uh, so, so seminar provided overview of uh, what talk was about and, and his cell model. Uh, so so it's, it's important to you know, even even with papers, you know, in the, in the abstract, uh, in a section, uh, you, you have to, the, the thing could be complex and hard to understand, but summarizing well, summarizing well is, impo 
is important. You know, you have to use uh, lots of uh, you know mod, uh, 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 schematics uh, and, and and pictures and you know the, the images, uh, the, the, especially if you are talking about a model. You know, the, the uh, working model or or or, uh, or a cellular model. Uh, speaker did not have a monotone presentation. He displayed some interesting images of subject matter. He made a lot of jokes. So, see, when they make jokes, <laughs> I, I know it because it was enjoyable. And I, I, I guess I still, you know, uh, enjoy his his talk because uh, my uh, my first thing in the lab, uh, uh, you know, was about the plasmids. You know, just uh, I, I did a lot of ligation and, and cut, cutting and you know digestion and, and, and extraction and, and just uh, my first first years were uh, because I, I, I did uh, you know yeast work and I had to do yeast uh, transformation with plasmids and then and, and those plasmids uh, we, we, we need to we, we needed them uh, I mean so you have to work on the plasmids and then insert genes and make sure the, or the, the orientation of the gene is correct and uh, everything and, and, and all these like uh, the, the digestive um, enzymes and you know eco r1 and uh, you know bmh and <laughs> all, all this i just all the molecular markers and i was, it was just, but at the end i would i would be so happy i mean uh, just i would just go and take the picture of the gel you know uh, on the uv uh, uh, light and and then it just uh, print out and and then you know and uh, close the you know logbook you know the the, la the laboratory uh, you know a logbook and, and uh, I was there uh, I was the happiest guy and, and uh, I would just uh, just uh, go and take the shuttle bus uh, and, and to the to the uh, veterans park uh, and then I said I guess I would ask about specific methods to assess uh, cellular uh, activity you know it's just uh, the, the uh, because it changes all the time like this uh, th th this is winter for example you know many of the trees uh, you know uh, uh, have shut down their you know transport uh, 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 systems you know it's winter time everything is uh, uh, frozen uh, so, so th th it's it's important it's important to understand you know cellular machinery or uh, you know th 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 that was the term we used uh, often cellular machinery I mean, we are not. Maybe the life is not a machinery, but it, the, the, yes, there is that term, cellular machinery. At some level, I, it's okay to use it. See, this is another talk, very important one: uh, infectious diseases and environment. Uh, infectious diseases and environment. Rita Caldwell uh, might be a PhD student or a professor. I, I don't remember exactly. Uh, seminar was about the survey of uh, different infectious diseases uh, around the world and their outbreak epidemic epidemic relation with environmental uh, parameters uh, speaker especially focused on uh, cholera vibrio cases uh, the, 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 she started her talk with ecology of infectious diseases uh, and the vector environment uh, relations like uh, the vector meaning the carrying in an organism anything that carries the uh, the, the, the germ or, or the microbe stressing the changing climate uh, changing climate affects uh, uh, may vector uh, uh, may vector populations uh, positively causing outsourcing or over, over uh, population problems uh, let me just read that again. Uh, 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 stressing that uh, the changing climate affects uh, affects may, may vector uh, populations positively, uh, causing outsourcing uh, or uh, overpopulation problems. Uh, is, I guess it comes down to this. Maybe I just uh, did a typo there. Uh, the climate change, uh, remember, I mean, climate change uh, 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 affects the way uh, uh, organisms get uh, distributed. You know, that the, the climate gets drier or, or, more, or more, more moist, and then it changes the, 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 it changes the way uh, organisms disperse, you know, it changes the diaspora. Uh, and, and if there is a vector, you know, uh, among those organisms, you know, uh, to, to, to certain diseases and etc. Like talking about rats, you know, 
rats or, or mosquitoes, you know. We know, we know that they love humid, you know, or moist uh, weather, uh, you know, so, so, and, and they carry certain diseases uh, in that sense. Uh, changing climate affects uh, 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 may affect the populations uh, positively, uh, causing outsourcing or overpopulation problems. And some vectors were reported to adapt to shorter periods of winter, such as mosquitoes. See, see, I just <laughs> I didn't even read that, but it just uh, it, it came, it popped up. Uh, some vectors uh, were reported to adapt to shorter periods of winter, such as mosquitoes. Increasing climate resulted. Uh, in habitat uh, and 75% uh, biodiversity loss in Hawaii. Uh, uh, so climate change uh, the, the results in certain, you know, uh, uh, biodiversity loss, uh, and then and and then, and the, and, the, and the native diversity gets replaced by uh, uh, the, these invasives, uh, and then uh, with the invasives, uh, you know. Uh, come the uh, new germs. Uh, habitat and biodiversity loss, so that's important. Rodent vectors and hunter virus was also subject of the talk causing uh, outbreaks. Mild winters result in more mice, see, you know, just the, the, the mild winters result in more mice, the, 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 therefore uh, more vectors uh, to infectious diseases. Uh, for cholera, she focused on global sea water temperature increase, uh, followed by zooplankton, copepod. Uh, see, you know, I just uh, uh, th those are basic crustaceans, uh, you know, in the water systems. Uh, uh, zooplankton outbreak, which is also a carrier to cholera uh, vibrio. Copepods are uh, rather, you know, uh, large uh, organisms. I mean, uh, they they are they are bigger than bacteria. So, but if they carry it, you know, they, if they carry bacteria, you know, then they become the vector. Uh, which is also a carrier for cholera uh, uh, vibrio. Speaker, uh, speaker uh, gave detailed information about cholera outbreak and case studies confirming cholera uh, as a waterborne disease. That's important. Uh, uh, she helped uh, carry out projects and data analysis regarding disease in Bag Bangladesh villages. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a poor country. Uh, 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 it was in those days, I, I guess, because I remembered the images, and, and, and she uh, she worked with models that predicted sea water temperature increase and, and upcoming zooplankton bloom and epidemics. Uh, so, 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 like I said, she had a working model, and then she figured out uh, uh, the source. I mean, the the, the 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 dirty water. I mean, and if it is getting into water systems, that these copepods and carrying, you know, cholera. Uh, you, you know, uh, uh, what do you expect? And people drink from those wells, and people still drink from, you know, the, just uh, uh, the, the people still drink from wells uh, that are contaminated with certain you know, organisms, uh, you know, uh, that carry diseases. Since outbreaks were waterborne, she suggested use of uh, filters in city water systems, systems uh, filtering zooplankton's. I mean, I mean, back in back, this is year 2007. See, see, masking. I mean, I, I, I think I remember the images. She was so showing, uh, showing. She just covered the, uh, the, the fountains, you know, or the, uh, you know, or the faucets with some sort of filter, you know, just basic filter. Uh, uh, even you catch a copper pots with like uh, filters. I mean, the, 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 like uh, <laughs> certain cloth like uh, filters you just you know they throw it in the water and and drain the water off and then and all you have all, all, all you are left is with <laughs> with a cup filled with copper pots i think i did that before uh, i remember i you know we were d d doing some work uh, in Mo uh, lake manias manias uh, manias uh, uh, and th that lake was uh, trophic too and it was getting polluted by the uh, by the by the chicken industry you know the the the, the, the rivers the rivers uh, feeding the lake was like uh, complete black back in the day 
back in back in 2000 back in 2000 i saw it i mean uh, all these birds and you know just uh, just uh, uh, migrating uh, you know from africa to 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 manias uh, just and 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 seeing this you know so so protecting uh, you know uh, waters is important you know this it's one way to stop infections and diseases i mean just this is the this is the take home message you know protect the water protect the water and this project was successful see filtering zooplankton eliminating risk of infections and this project was successful it's, 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 yes sometimes you need to use masks and filters it's just uh, it's just the way it is just the way it is seminar was very clear and interesting presentation did include too many images and videos uh, seminar was introduced with an interesting topic uh, one could understand the subject matter and importance of the talk uh, seminar provided overview of uh, what talk was about an ecology of uh, infectious diseases uh, so again I just noticed she made a lot of jokes and then and, and it was enjoyable I would ask about presence of uh, cholera vibrio in acid polluted waters and and, and cause with lack uh, calcium calcium a necessary mineral for crustaceans See, see another point you know because if the ocean acidification is another problem <laughs> what would happen if the if the lake is completely acidified i mean that that, that i was asking that question you know, at, at the time you know acid polluted waters <laughs> so so uh, because you know this is the vector i mean this is the disease carrier I, I mean like a, like mos mosquito you know but then this is crustaceans and, and, and the copper pots and, and they, they rely on calcium in the water so uh, and, and and if there is no calcium what would happen you know maybe this they switch to a different vector or or, or just or what you know okay so let's continue uh, how did evolution how did evolution build eyes so, so this is an <laughs> uh, this is an interesting uh, topic because you know evolution is is is, is, is an interesting uh, topic to start with and, 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 and a lot of people you know don't agree you know with the theory or uh, or else but uh, 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 even Darwin had uh, like uh, 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 but, uh, even Darwin was uh, amazed, uh, you know, how the eyes were built. You know, just uh, it was very hard to explain the, the evolution of the eyes. I mean, the, because it's uh, the, the eyes, uh, it's just a uh, magic. I mean, it uh, it's the marvel of the of the of the b b biological systems. Uh, I, I mean, uh, it's it's isn't it? Uh, so so. so uh, uh, how did it happen? I mean, it just where did where did eyes come from? You know, let's let's see what happened. Let's see what happens. Let's listen. Let's listen. This is the, again 2007. Seminar seminar was about novel evolutionary approaches with a comparison to uh, old models. See, comparing, comparing. The talk included evolution of complex, uh, complex novelties such as eyes in various animal uh, species. And that's one way to understand. You compare the same organ, you know, uh, among different uh, organisms, like legs and you know arms and uh, eyes and ears, and that, that that's uh, that's how you understand evolution. I mean, it's just uh, you know, if there is a gradual, you know, uh, improvement, and uh, that you know, you call that evolution. Uh, speaker focused on gradualist, uh, see, gradualist and phylogenetic approach of uh, evolution. He talked about gene level and structural level organizations and, uh, and analyzed origins of novelty genes and components considering parsimony criteria, uh, which, is a, which is a thing. Uh, uh, parsimony means uh, choosing the easiest route uh, in terms of uh, evolution, like the, the, the certain genes. You know that there is that there is this character. There's another character, 
you know, one after another. Uh, and then parsimony criteria chooses the easiest way, you know, uh, the, uh, from point A to, to, to D, you know, it says, you know, evolution should follow this way, uh, should, should, should follow this path, uh, you know, among many options. You know, so 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 it, it, usually it's done by computers. Uh, the, this uh, parsimony criteria, if I'm not you know uh, mistaken, uh, uh, it, it it is a uh, it is a criteria for uh, you know uh, to, to develop evolutionary trees, which favor fever changes. Like I said, the shortest route. I mean that, that bit, bit just uh, from point A to point D. You know, then the parsimony criteria just uh, uh, favors the shortest route, evolutionary. Uh, on a, uh, which uh, which favor fever changes on a phylogenetic tree. Multiplication of I genes uh, may result in uh, multiple I types. Uh, components of phototransduction origins were subject to evolutionary analysis, uh, such as origins of opsins, arrestin, and G protein. Opsins are important because they, 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 uh, I think there are even uh, ones in, in, in mushrooms, uh, I, if I'm not mistaken. mistaken. The, the, the options are, are present in mushrooms. The is a chromatophore uh, protein, uh, you know, reactive uh, to to light. Uh, so, 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 so mushrooms change color, as you know. You know, uh, when they receive light, they they react and they change color, and so so they do have uh, some reaction to light. So they detect light. Uh, with, 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 with some uh, uh, molecules and some structures, and opsin is one of them. Arrestin and G protein. Uh, Nidarians, uh, jellyfish, talking about jellyfish, Nidarians were reported to have opsin and porifers uh, had uh, uh, multiple G proteins. You know, those little uh, or organisms uh, in, in seas and, you know, uh, planktons, porifers. Uh, 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 Nidarians were reported to have opsin and uh, porifers uh, had uh, uh, multiple uh, G proteins. Uh, uh, there might be sponges also, you know. <laughs> let, me, let me let me just be, uh, uh, to, to, to my uh, understanding, uh, it's a, a, a plankton. It's a plankton, but uh, uh, maybe may, maybe it is used uh, in terms of a sponge. Uh, 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 if I'm not if I'm not wrong, you know those sea, sea sponges, you know, in the sea. Uh, uh, Porphyrins had the, had the multiple G proteins. He also talked about origin of structures like dual retina. See, see retina is full of you know all these cells that are sensitive to light. Genome duplication events are now favored are, uh, as responsible creators of these genes, uh, which originated uh, as uh, uh, subject structures and o o organs. Uh, uh, so, so uh, you know, like uh, uh, some some mutations, you know, they are uh, like single uh, base mutations, uh, as you know. That, that that is that is one category, and other uh, mutations are like duplication of genes. You know, like you duplicate the gene, and 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 you often you oftentimes see uh, this type of mutation in in organisms. The genes get uh, replicated, uh, and then in time those genes uh, gain new functions. You know, it just one gene gets replicated, uh, the, 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 or duplicated. Uh, so it has more than one copy in the same DNA, in the same locus, uh, uh, you know, and this happens, you know, uh, uh, all the time, and then it can result in uh, different structures, and, and, and uh, so Ostraka biology and eye structure was also included in the talk, median eye uh, followed by opsin duplication, uh, broad first uh, compound eye, uh, in the insects, you know, we know in the insects they have eye, it's called a compound eye, and this conclusion is withdrawn with the help of co-option model. 
so, 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 you know, we know the insects uh, have eyes, you know, the, the, so, so uh, uh, I guess uh, uh, it is, it is uh, talking about that. Uh, so, so at least if you can <laughs> explain the, you know, uh, uh, eye system in, in insects, then you can uh, move on to, uh, you know, higher organisms, I guess. Seminar was very clear and interesting. Presentation did not include too many images about figures. Seminar was introduced uh, with fairly interesting topic. One could understand the subject matter and importance of this uh, new evolutionary uh, approach. It's, 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 again, it comes down to the you know genomic understanding. You know, you, you understand the genome, you you, you understand life. Uh, like I said, you know. Uh, 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 even for many genetic diseases, you know, you know, for, for, for even uh, uh, like uh, spinal muscular atrophy gene, you know, there is uh, there is type one and there is type two. In in the type two, it it, it is uh, a lot easier to live uh, b b because the, you know they they can now use a, a, a drug uh, that acts as a patch to to to, to the to the uh, mRNA. Uh, and and then you you can generate the the, the protein necessary uh, for the development of the nerves in the in the uh, in the SMA disease and and the, the and the drug is very expensive because normally I mean in, in our body the the body uh, you know uh, carries multiple copies of this gene the SMA gene it just it generates a protein the, 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 and and in, in a lot of families suffer. Because of this gene, and you know, and if you understand, you know, the genomics behind it, it this makes sense. Because critical uh, functions, you know, the, the you know, it, the, the, it, critical functions. If you understand the genomics, you see there are many copies. Because the the you know the uh, evolution or the, the the body wanted to protect these functions, uh, and then then. And then it makes sense. Uh, again, it's same thing with the, with the glucose metabolism in yeast, you know, uh, or, or nitrogen metabolism. You know, you you see this is called redundant genes. You know, in, in evolutionary in evolutionary time scale. I mean, just one important gene, you know, gets conserved. And protect it, and 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 in time, uh, uh, the, the more copies generate, and then and and then those copies uh, uh, take on different rules, uh, roles, uh, etc. So uh, duplication is important in in genomic studies. I mean, many genes look similar to each other. You know, that we call this blast. I mean, you take a piece of DNA. You blast it, and then, and, and oftentimes you will see many genes similar to that gene. We call this blast. And, you know, that just that that they, they, they look similar, but they don't do the same job. Many genes are similar in structure, you know, maybe in in terms of sequencing, but they don't uh, they don't do the same job. You know, slightly different jobs, or you know, there is this redundancy. Uh, which is important, which is evolutionary, it is important. Uh, so that that's that's how we get all these new organs or 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 or, 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 or functions. I, I should say it it, it 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 works. I mean the the model, the, you know the scientist, uh, you know the, 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 the who, who is explaining the, this model. I mean that just uh, the, 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 I I think it's it's a good talk. It it it, it remains true remains true it's a good good point it's a good point uh, speaker uh, uh, sp seminar gave overview of what speaker has found analyzed regarding of uh, evolution evolution of regarding evolution of complexes as I say complex evolution of you know certain structures that are meant to do a job or, or a function you know it just uh, uh, that's that, 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 that. And, and for that, too, you have to understand the genomics. Just very simple. Speaker did not have a monotone presentation. I displayed some interesting images of subject matter. It was enjoyable. I would ask a specific origin 
uh, of eye pigments and presence of these proteins in single cell eukaryotic organisms like euglena, you know, uh, <laughs> it said, euglena, some, some say it's a plant, some say it's a, it's, it's a animal, you know, it's like, uh, it just, uh, euglena is, you know, it's a, uh, it's a microscopic, uh, you know, but uh, I, I think blocks belongs to protest, you know, it, it just as uh, so. Uh, and it's called chemotaxi, you know, these organisms, you know, uh, find a way uh, towards f carbon source or food source and, and, and or light source, you know. So, uh, so that's the question I was thinking. Plant pathology, uh, let me just briefly, how many uh, minutes uh, we have, uh, 40 minutes, let me just... Uh, uh, plant pathology, Dr. Amy Charkovsky, UW Medicine. Speaker introduced several plant pathogens like Erwinia crescentemi. Uh, this pathogen is known to live in soil and make plants rot, wilt, and cause soft tissue. Speaker focus, uh, focused uh, uh, and wanted to explain how these organisms can cause disease. Uh, she mentioned uh, she mentioned she mentioned that her goal is to find new ways to control uh, this bacterial disease uh, the, the, it's important you know if you're if you're a, a, if you're a state uh, willing to feed your uh, you know people that, that then you have to, uh, to study these uh, you know diseases that, that that harm plants i mean if you are an agricultural nation if you are trying to feed your people you, you have to study the diseases that are harming your plants. Simple. Speaker started to analyze uh, some of the genetic features of the pathogen and outlined uh, some of the phylogenetic relation of this pathogen to other species. See, again, again, phylogeny. I mean, you, you have to understand the genes behind, uh, you know, all, all these uh, uh, pathogens or, or, or the bacteria. What gene is causing it? You, you know, uh, what are the real you know uh, the elements behind it she, <coughs> she focused on functions of, she focused on functions of species specific species specific genes you know that's important you know very important see uh, be, because you know so, so yes there are some genes at the genus level you know at the family level or order level you know higher taxonomic levels uh, but if you can pinpoint a gene that is at the species level then you can then you can do uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, some molecular work against this bacteria you know you, you, you know where you know where to you know where to you know uh, you know where to where to hit you know in this war against against the disease and she found that specific genes uh, are virulence she found that specific genes are virulence genes, uh, such as the ones. Virulence genes are important because normally bacteria, like in, in, in regular life, uh, the, even the pathogens, they don't cause disease. But they have this mode called virulence mode. You know, when they reach certain numbers, they switch to this virulence mode and then they become pathogenic. So virulence genes, we call it, we call it virulence genes. Like, so washing is important, even without soap. I, I urge you here, for like we are now in winter time, you know, everybody is like living in, uh, you know, just congested places and uh, uh, closed uh, spaces. Uh, it, 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 please wash, 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 wash. Why? Because of these virulence genes. If the microbes, uh, you know, uh, are less in numbers, they don't get uh, 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 viral. I repeat, um, this is true for most of the time. We did experiments with that too. If you dilute the bacterial, uh, you know, uh, solutions, often it loses its virulence. If you concentrate the germs, then they become virulent. So, uh, she found that specific genes are virulence genes, such as the ones that degrade cell wall. You know, it, that's what happens. 
with the with the plant or potato or, or onion, you know, <laughs> you look at the onion or 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 or, 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 or a orange, you know, <laughs> if the cell wall is damaged, then the, 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 then then you know that the, uh, something has happened. Uh, degrade the cell wall and synthesize adhesins and uh, and TTSS. That's the that's the that's the gene, you know. Uh, so so she talked about uh, biofilm regulating genes. That's another problem, biofilms, because that, that remember, that that's when they uh, when they come together, these pathogens or bacteria, when they form biofilm, uh, forget it. Even with cancer, you know, you know, you know why why we haven't found a cure to many cancers because the tumors have bacteria and and germs living in it. That's why the the the. the, the uh, the uh, chemicals or, or the medicines don't work sometimes because they are being cons consumed by the by the bacterial com community inside the tumor. You know, the tumor is an ecology. Uh, like you, you, to, to, people think tumor is is, is uh, just a uh, it's, it's, it's a blob of cells. No. Oftentimes you find yeast, mold, and bacteria inside tumors it's 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 a it's a living uh, the, the, it's a space for pathogens for germs and then how are you going to fix cancer if you don't know what is causing it especially biofilm very dangerous once they form biofilm forget it even anti antibiotics don't work she also talked about biofilm regulating genes devoted her rest of her talk on this subject because important biofilm is important I tell you because once they form biofilm like I said forget it it's their shield you know the biofilm is the shield see she's she's screened colonies uh, for biofilm mutants you know and identified couple genes that are responsible for this phenotype you know that's like a, that <laughs> she, she, she shotgun model you know this is the, 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 this is how biologists work, you know. I, I think remember, uh, uh, like even even World War Two, you know, they inspected the planes. You know, if the plane doesn't get hit in the engine, the the plane can still land. You know, the plane gets hit from the tail or from the you know wings, and it it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I mean, as long as it has a working engine and the propeller, it can land. You know. That same thing uh, applies for the for the bacteria. I mean, it, it, you just you are making all these mutants, but if you make the right mutant, then then they can't do much. You know, if you if you hit the engine, then then, then what's gonna happen? Uh, that, that that's how uh, that, 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 you, you know that's how these uh, mutation studies uh, work. You know, you you have a car. You know, you remove you know seat and you remove this, you remove that, <laughs> and then and then you try to understand if the car is still running. You say, okay, these are redundant. The the, the car doesn't need these, uh, you know, the, the, to to run to to function. You know, and and uh, and then uh, after a certain point, uh, you know, if you remove the like fuel line, then <laughs> well, what happens? The engine shuts itself it's just uh, basic so so that's how uh, these scientists uh, work uh, when they're uh, uh, you know uh, studying bacteria or yeast and that, that's how these mutation studies uh, uh, work seminar was uh, very clear and interesting uh, presentation included a lot of images figures uh, rotten potatoes and plants it's a potatoes still important because we eat a lot of potatoes still today who, who doesn't like fries who doesn't like fries seminar was introduced with interesting images one could understand the subject matter and the importance of the study uh, so i'm just gonna uh, it was enjoyable uh, i still enjoy it today you know so 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 so, so this uh, uh, i would ask whether they have used natural products for uh, the products to screen uh, for mutants uh, uh, so, so sometimes you know to, to yeah to, to understand mutants you know that there are many ways to find uh, mutants and, and I, I guess uh, I was just asking how, how did you find these mutants you know the, 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 are there are there natural products uh, 
uh, you know. Uh, so this is uh, this is another nice talk. Mia Little, uh, she was uh, we were uh, we were teaching elements of biology course at UWM. She was the head. She was the lead uh, TA. Uh, she was doing her PhD uh, on the nervous system of. Uh, the the in, uh, uh, on the nervous system of uh, insects, Mia Little, uh, uh, God bless her soul. Uh, I later learned that uh, she passed away. Uh, the, she, she, she was she was such a dear person. Uh, just she she lectured at uh, uh, Milwaukee Technical College uh, for some time. Uh, I think in the year two thousand ten, uh, but. but and, and then uh, that, so, so she was uh, uh, very de dear uh, you know to me uh, you know uh, because she was moving on with her dissertation and, and, the, and PhD defense she, 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 she left the TA lead TA position uh, she recommended me uh, to become the lead TA uh, for the for the course uh, you know laboratory sections uh, so so uh, the uh, lead, lead TA would check the you know the, the experiment material uh, and, and would uh, you know uh, arrange new TAs uh, uh, with the classes and and, and so sometimes uh, you know collect grades and uh, everything. Uh, so so it was a, it was a uh, important uh, task for, for me and and and, and she I'm glad that she. Uh, 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 she, she thought I could do it, and she trusted me. Uh, and 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 and, and in my first uh, semester, you know, I, I I attended her lectures in you know in in the in the lab sessions, uh, and then took note whatever she did. I I swear I I took note uh, word by word, you know, what 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 she what she was doing in the lab and how she was teaching. Uh, I took note by note. Uh, and then and, and based on on my notes and, and how she was you know t teaching the cl class and everything and then I, I continued and, and and tried to improve my own uh, you know methods and etc but she she, she, she so she, uh, she she was a good mentor she was a good mentor and a good friend and and, and god bless her uh, uh, she's 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 in heaven uh, i believe so uh, so god bless her uh, uh, rest in peace, Mia. So, a uh, speaker introduced ion channels and defined their properties, such as these channels are uh, voltage gated, uh, calcium activated, potassium channels. She also says she was working on nervous system, you know, and when you say nervous system, uh, basically you understand it's calcium and potassium channels. She also introduced slow poke mutants, which are important uh, when in, uh, observing uh, neural communications. Again, uh, like uh, you have to create mutants, you know, to, to see what's happening. Uh, metamorphosis was used uh, as a model to follow neural development and formation of neural circuit circuits because, uh, the, you know, especially in even in worms, you know, that uh, the, we, 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 it is believed that the insects evolved from uh, from worms, Annelida, that the, the, the earthworms, you know. Annelita, because they are they are the closest to to insects evolutionary, and and then they, and then we know that uh, they they have a nervous system. So so this was to understand uh, she, the, the, she 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 was basically actually working on uh, insect worms and, and so, so so I. Metamorphosis was used uh, as a model to follow neural development and formation of neural circuits. She mentioned that the uh, nervous system is reorganized during metamorphosis. See, see that's what we, we need to do sometimes, you know. We, we need to go to metamorphosis. We need to rewire our nervous systems. Uh, the, and, 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 and insects do that. Insects do that all the time. She performed northern blood analysis of developmental uh, changes by using slowpoke mRNA, see. She was using, uh, working with RNA is hard, challenging, yeah, because it degrades easily, you know, it just gets contaminated. Uh, so, so, so uh, you know, uh, uh, so she, she was doing very important work. I mean, uh, Mia Little, I mean, God bless her. 
she performed northern plot analysis of developmental changes by using slowpoke mRNA segment specific expression of uh, uh, MSS LO mRNA in uh, thoracic ganglia you know the, the ganglions you know the, the insects I mean they don't <laughs> they don't have a big brain but they have a series of ga ganglia uh, you, you know in, in in thorax region and and, and, and and other parts of the you know abdominal region uh, you know, with the, with the help of the the ganglia, you know, they they, they survive and, and carry out certain life functions. Was analyzed uh, segment specific expression of uh, MS uh, MSS uh, LO uh, mRNA in the thoracic ganglia was analyzed in various stages of development, such as larval and pupal stages. She extracted mRNA, I guess, you know, which is it's just. It's just uh, which is hard, uh, like uh, harder than extracting DNA, I tell you. She noted that nervous system got more complex during uh, development, you know. So, see, even insects, you know, they, they, they step up their game, you know. I, even insects it just, uh, you know, rewire their brains and nervous systems, you know, to, to start a new life. You know, with, with the old, you know, <laughs> with, with the old head, Sometimes you cannot uh, t t t advance much. You know, you have to you have to change the, 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 the you know the brain. You have to change the brain. But just basic. I swear. I mean, even when I was uh, like learning and uh, the, the how to speak English, I swear. I mean, I I would come home, you know, from work, and I my head was like you know b b just. Uh, uh, was filled with uh, you know migraines and and and, and, and headaches. Because, you know, I was using it and then it just gets inflamed and it, it just, uh, I had to sleep and to, to get it over. Uh, you, you have to have the pain, no pain, no gain. I mean, that's just, uh, you know, that, that, that's how I learned to speak English. Uh, even it was, even uh, when I started first UWM, it was Ramadan. I mean, I was fasting, you know, low blood, uh, low blood sugar. It's trying to listen to the professors and it, 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 imagine that that is just, uh, you know, that is not native language. It, it, it was very challenging, uh, but, but you, you, I managed to rewire my brain. And now I can talk, uh, as you see, like, like it's my native uh, language, like it's my mother language. Because I managed to rewire the goddamn nervous system. I believe so. And I, I think I am right. And, 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 and it's not a big deal, you know, as if, if the insects can do it, that means, we, that means we can. She noted that nervous system got more complex during development. She discovered that uh, MS, uh, MS, SLO, MR, uh, mRNA expression is down, regulated in sub uh, uh, esophageal uh, ganglia. Uh, upregulated in dorsal area, suggesting uh, the dramatic gene expression changes uh, during development. Uh, so, so it is uh, upregulated in dorsal area where the wings are, you know. So, so because you need a certain uh, amount of activity to, to run the wings, I guess. Uh, these changes are carried out via uh, more cells, uh, stronger expression of increased uh, expressions. You know, just the same thing. That's why we go to gym. That's why we play, you know, tennis. You have to, uh, you have to learn to wire the the, the nerves. They're just the simple. There's this thing called plasticity. The nervous system can rearrange. The nervous system can adapt. It's called working out. It's called training. It's just very simple. You know, starting with insects. You can even train insects, for God's sake. You can even train insects. Worms you can train. Seminar was very uh, clear and interesting. Uh, presentation included a lot of figures and etc. Uh, seminar was introduced with informative slides. One could understand the subject matter and importance of the study. Like I said, she, she was doing mRNA study back in 2007. This is hell of a work. And then, and then, and then, and then, and uh, and she was, uh, I, I, if I, if I am not wrong, she was around 40 years of age. She had a, uh, she had a son, 20 years old. I, uh, I, I remember bringing her gifts because I, I had to uh, travel to Turkey to get my visa. 
I remember uh, you know bringing uh, uh, back some gifts uh, and then she was very happy and then she she, she was a uh, like I said uh, you know I'm obliged uh, she's just I'm great I'm, I feel I feel thankful uh, that I have met her uh, and, and and then the department had a, had a science a department had a uh, you know a diversity uh, and, and, and that, that, that helped I, I didn't have many Turkish friends at UWM but uh, you know, I had friends you know because of the diversity and I'm grateful for that you know, I am grateful for that diversity is important you have to feel like you are home Seminar provided overview of what speaker has studied and worked on. She summarized, outlined her research. The speaker did not have a long-term presentation. She displayed image, interesting images of her work, made jokes. It was enjoyable. Uh, I would ask whether the same research has been carried out on insects that don't go through metamorphosis, because not all the insects <laughs> go through metamorphosis. You know that the, the most advanced group of the insects go through metamorphosis. So, so, some insects. Uh, don't go through metamorphosis. I think they are called ametabola. So, uh, with that, uh, I think this is the, the this is the la, 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 this is the last one. Uh, or the, the, uh, let me just uh, quickly read the the, the last two. Uh, let me see how many minutes. Uh, uh, just uh, it's one hour o almost. Uh, so uh, let me just make it. Uh, maybe I should choose one of the two. Let me just uh, see. It's it's uh, uh, where molecules meet environment. Uh, natural dark matter engines we we brew. Yeah, let me just uh, see. See, this is again regarding uh, the, this uh, behavior and olfaction in Daphnia feeding and mating. This is like again another. I'm just gonna. Uh, just go quickly again again uh, this is ba based on uh, uh, water organisms uh, uh, in Daphnia Daphnia is very important because it's a crustacean it's, it's just at the by this organism is at the bottom of the you know uh, food chain uh, lakes and, and feeding the fish like bass and other organisms uh, so, uh, uh, so, so understanding Daphne is important, you know. So, so, so the reproduction and toxicity and everything, the environmental uh, elements and, and etc. Feeding patterns. Uh, so, so, uh, so, see again. Uh, see, it says Daphne. It's a sentinel species uh, we, we, because something goes wrong with Daphne. The whole system will collapse. I tell you. You know, it's the it's the, the the bottom chain. It's like the rabbit. You know, it's like well, you know, it's the, it's the it's the it's the gazelle of the of the Serengeti. You know, if something happens to the, the, to the deer, you know, if something happens to the gazelle, if something happens to the rabbit, the whole system will will, will crash. Uh, the, <laughs> it's a God forbid. So, so it's important. The, these organisms, so, so sentinel species, if they are gone, they just the whole system is gone. So, so they they did some toxicity tests. They used uh, atrazine, caffeine, flu, 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 taxine, and uh, it just uh, I guess uh, uh, so, so. So let me just with that. Uh, it's, uh, it's a chemoreceptor. See again, neural networks. See in Daphnia, neural networks. So you know these structures were found to be chemoreceptors, suggesting differences in neural networks of female and male individuals. You know it's a like taxi behavior. You know you're trying to reach you know food foraging behavior, and then and there are chemoreceptors involved. Uh, so, so I would ask about the characteristics of the Daphne species and their physiological difference. So the last one, uh, it's, uh, it's, I think it's an interesting topic, where molecules meet environment. See, in top, a molecular mechanism underlying a natural dark mutants in a genus Vibrio. Talk was about luminous uh, bacteria. Bioluminescence is defined as oxidation reduction reaction. Uh, t t today still they are trying to understand why you know even mushrooms why why there if there is any bioluminescence uh, well, why I mean just, just is it is it is it one way to get rid of extra energy you know excess energy 
uh, you know, it, it, it just uh, you know to 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 eliminate the the, the radicals and etc. Luciferase enzyme activity plays major role in this reaction. Uh, same enzyme in in in, in fireflies. Phosphate relay systems uh, produce light in Vibrio genus. That's bacteria. Uh, speaker at this question whether Vibrio is used as a t uh, as a test organism. Uh, she talked about special temporal dynamics of planktonic genotypes. See, understanding planktonic, you know, the, 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 the genes and. Uh, she studied genomic, uh, f uh, genomics, uh, fin fingerprints of luminous bacteria. She again understanding genomics is very important. She studied genomic uh, fingerprints of luminous bacteria, isolated from a planktonic niche. You know, again seas and oceans. You know, just uh, you know, swimming out there. You know, what is swimming? You know, or she analyzed uh, phenotypic variations. Uh, of uh, Florida shore samples uh, and looked for uh, dark mutants in order to understand the molecular basics of uh, for that uh, phenotype uh, for that phenotype. See, to understand a, a function, <laughs> you understand the mutant. You know, if if you if you find a mutant and then and then and figure out why why it is <laughs> why it is a mutant, <laughs> then you understand the function. I mean, you understand the function. The, 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 not by looking at the, the, uh, the looking at the healthy state, you know. If it, it same same applies to, to to societies too. If something if the society if the society is sick, if the, if if, if there is something wrong with the society, then 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 that means something has happened. Some 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 deletion or some mutation has happened. What happened? You know, it's not functioning as it should be. It, 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 it has gone through mutation. What type of mutation? You know, what genes have you eliminated? What genes have you deleted? You know, that's just so. This is one way to understand. You study mutants. It just, it's just a, a, a very old method, actually. You know, with this method, method. Uh, even the gene we were studying at the lab, uh, Sinifan gene, we were uh, like uh, working on the, uh, working on it. Uh, so it, it means uh, uh, sucrose non-fermenting because they figured out this one mutant uh, was not uh, just uh, f fermenting with the, with the sugar sucrose. That's why it's called <laughs> sugar non-fermenting SNF gene, SNF1 gene, and turned out to be a major ma major gene. I mean, like it was a bingo, but it just that's how they found out. That's how they found out. It was a mutant, and it didn't grow on sucrose. You know, sucrose is an alternative carbon source. Normally, all cells prefer glucose. And yeast, if there is not a glucose, yeast converts other sugars, especially sucrose, which is table sugar, into uh, glucose uh, with an enzyme called invertase. And if, if it doesn't have invertase, then, 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 then if, or, you know, if it's a mutant, then, then it cannot survive on uh, sucrose. It's just so, so understanding mutants is important, you know. Uh, you know. Uh, so, 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 uh, so uh, she found that dark mutants had impaired regulation, uh, and some spring, uh, and some strains were completely mutant. Uh, uh, AES, uh, AES 10 insertion element was found in a uh, dark mutant. So I see he just uh, she, she figured out something uh, 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 something was there. She also discovered that there is high mobility of uh, AES element between taxonomic groups. Uh, that, that, uh, it's, it's a transposon or some some, some genetic uh, uh, you know element he's talking about. In some strains, uh, she found the truncated LOX A gene, which is responsible for bio um, uh, bioluminescence. See, uh, this is another uh, f factor. Some strains were mutant because of the frame shift in the operon, you know, because the the way, you know, the, 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 the gene works, you know. Uh, there's the you know promoter region, and it starts and then and, and it just uh, this frame shift uh, it, because of a mutation. You know if the whole uh, you know protein sequence gets changed because of a you know it, it's called frame shift. Like for example A A T A and then delete A and then it just becomes A T 
uh, uh, a you know uh, so, 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 so if it doesn't start at the right uh, you know uh, point it, it call it's called a frame shift you know like I am I am starting to read from here right from here you know to understand the whole text and if I start from here would it would it make the same sense no you know if I start the sentence with like rains were mutant you know it doesn't make sense uh, the, the whole thing get, get, gets off uh, so, so, so it's called frame shift mutation uh, in, in the opera uh, as, a, as a, so see she found out uh, different uh, types of mutations you know and not one not two she found like three three of them as a, as a result of insertion see it's just some, uh, something got in between and it became it, it caused a frame shift Deletion and frame mutations were found in dark mutants, therefore Lux Operon was lost and in those dark mutants she, 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 that she found. And then the same thing, even in mushroom world, I mean, we try to find different mutants, uh, so, some white ones and yellow ones and, and then toxic ones and non-toxic ones. So there's always a chance to find a, <laughs> there's always a chance to find an edible mushroom because if the, if the chemical you know, in, in charge of the toxicity, it cannot be like synthesized, <laughs> it becomes edible, you know, <laughs> like it's uh, uh, very simple. So it's, it's always, uh, it's always <laughs> good, good to check for mutants. Uh, therefore, the Lux operon was lost and gained uh, in different strains and species. That's why genomics, 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 again, I'm saying, it's just a very important reading, genomics, genomics, genomics. Uh, was lost and gained in different uh, strains and species. It, it was a loss of function, you know, we, we say, you know, it, it's, it, it, same applies to viruses too, you know, sometimes they lose, you know, function, sometimes they, 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 they gain function. She was able to restore mutants to bright phenotype and quorum sensing because she knows what she's doing. And I mean, she found out the gene and you replace the gene get, get, and then guess what? It just, you bring back the phenotype and quorum sensing you know they just they, they communicate uh, you know t t uh, together sometimes uh, with these eliminations she also found that dark mutants grow faster and and they were stable you know uh, seminar was very clear and interesting presentation included a lot of images figures of phenotypes and genetic maps see genetic maps uh, seminar was introduced with interesting t talk of Chuck Wimpy. Uh, see, he was he, was, he, he just he was on my uh, 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 committee. You know, the, uh, he was on my committee t as well for for my thesis work, for my grad study. So just uh, the, 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 I, uh, I I respect I respect him. He just a very uh, he has a sense of humor and just uh, I, I I mean. Uh, I respect him. I say hi to uh, Dr. Wimpy. Shout out to Dr. Wimpy. I love you. <laughs> uh, one could uh, understand the subject matter and the uh, importance uh, of this uh, study. Uh, seminar provided overview of, uh, overview of what speaker has studied and worked on uh, because they had a, they had their own uh, the dark uh, room i mean we had the several uh, dark rooms in, in, you know in the uh, in the department and and then they, these guys i mean they had their own dark room so, so that they could study these the bioluminescence you know <laughs> we, we, we would do western blood in our dark room and you know then develop images etc and, and they had their own uh, right, right, right across the uh, stairs uh, or, or the elevators, uh, if I'm not mistaken. She summarized out, outlined uh, her research. Uh, she displayed interesting images of, 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 of her work and made jokes. It was enjoyable. I would ask about the bright phenotypes and what type of mutation would cause these phenotypes. <laughs> if, this, if, there, if there's a the dark uh, phenotype, then, 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 then there may be, uh, you know, brighter you know, ones that that generate more light. You know, uh, brighter. You know, there's always. Uh, <laughs> see, see, there is. A, see, see, I will close with this one. You know, just always look at the bright side of of the of the things. You know. So, so that is my uh, the talk here. Uh, the, uh, it, it just it it just makes me happy to remember these uh, you know good people. You know, it just uh, the, 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 trust me. Yeah, you know, that just uh, it takes sometimes weekends, uh, sometimes you know day and night to, to because it's the lab. These cultures, live cultures, is not easy to maintain them. 
you have to be there you know you have to do those shakers they just uh, work day and night you know you just uh, you, uh, you, and even you know we were some some shakers were, were like common so uh, so I would like a 37 degree room for example I would go in and then then I stopped the big shaker you know it was just like like the very 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 big machines you know you just you shut down the shaker and, and load your cultures and then and then you had to make sure that, that the shaker uh, get, get, you know get, gets going again you know should turn on turn it back on uh, then and then you have to make sure that you need some because if if the, if, if the shaker stops then everybody else you know <laughs> loses the cultures and everything and it's just then, and then it's a war you know it, it's it happened a couple times i i believe you know somebody for somebody forgot the, to, to turn it back on you know because you have to stop the damn thing you know to load the cultures and then if, if you forget <laughs> then, 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 then there's a war you know so 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 it was good days uh, uh, with, with this i will stop uh, the talk uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel uh, just uh, and if you have questions, uh, let me know. Uh, uh, just uh, so, so I will try to continue these types of uh, talks. Uh, I love you. Uh, have a good day. Like I said, just uh, there's always uh, the good people out there. Uh, it's time to think.